be whoever you need to be with Vital. With the number of diabetics steadily growing in South Africa, people are becoming aware and conscious of new foods and ways of eating. The low GI form of eating is increasingly popular among diabetics, as Andrea Duplessis discovered. Peter, being diagnosed as a type 2 diabetic must have been a big change in your life. Now, what were the biggest adjustments you've had to make? The biggest adjustment is diet. Um, I was diagnosed as a pre-diabetic originally, and then the shock came that I'm now um, insulin-dependent type 2 diabetic, and uh, so the main thing was to focus on, on diet and lifestyle. What are the biggest changes you've made? When um, I was initially diagnosed, I learned those big words called GI, which stands for glycemic index, and the idea with being a type 2 diabetic is that you have to have as low GI diet as possible. And one of the big uh, problems that I had to face was the drinking of fruit juice and also sort of basic things that one takes for granted like having white toast for breakfast and then you have to change the basics. So that, that was one of the hardest things. Breakfast really is the most important meal of the day for all of us but especially for diabetics, for blood glucose control and that's why we always try and look for a low glycemic index breakfast like a low GI muesli because not only does that kickstart your metabolism, but it also helps with appetite control, blood glucose control, and sustains your energy. So when you do your shopping, it's important to look at the sugar content because most mueslis are sweetened, and also that it's marked low glycemic index. You can see while I'm pouring this, it's raw unbaked muesli. There's no sugar added and no fats added either. And it's a selection of dried oats, raisins, and nuts. Although breakfast is critically important for managing blood sugar levels, planning and managing the other meals of the day also maintains sugar level stability. Snacking is often something that diabetics struggle with. So what do you do in terms of snacks? It is quite difficult in a busy day to find a time to have a snack and I think fruit is most probably one of the easiest things to snack on but then of course you run into the dilemma that fruit is not always good for you, only allowed a certain amount of fruit in small portions um, which is again most probably where I cheat, you know, you, I think you're allowed six grapes so in, in grape season I'll have half a bunch. One has to go and, and do a bit of research and find out what snacks are, are low GI and I think if you just concentrate on the low GI um, you could most probably find something that is fairly palatable. The safest snack for a diabetic would be something like a plain yogurt with a fruit because that is a very healthy low GI combination but also looking at nuts and seeds are very healthy to snack on but if you need to watch your weight smaller portions of those and for those favorite little rice cake snacks and things like that, um, have them with cottage cheese, like the yogurt reduces the glycemic index of the fruit. So too the protein in the cottage cheese will reduce the glycemic index of crackers and rice cakes. A simple way to identify high GI foods is anything that's high in sugar or very refined. Low GI foods are typically unrefined and the whole grain has been maintained. We've made quite a few changes in your diet and lifestyle and has it been hard being a diabetic? I found it relatively easy over the last five years since I've been given alternatives and I just wish that I'd known about GI diets 10 or 15 years ago because if I'd been made aware of them maybe I would have changed my lifestyle sooner. But I think the world is certainly becoming much more conscious of type 2 diabetes and there's much better advice out there now than what there was say 10-15 years ago. A bit of research and planning will make the switch to low GI easy and you too can enjoy the health benefits of this balanced form of eating. Be whoever you need to be with Vital.